Hello everyone! Welcome to It's Story Time! I am Curie, and today we're going to learn together. Are you ready? Great! Let's welcome our storyteller for today, Miss Jeshan Krisha Martinez. <laughs> Hello learners! How are you today? I hope that all of you are fine and safe. I'm pretty sure that you are too much enjoying your long vacation with your family. But, do you spend time reading your notes? Or at least reading your books? I hope you do. This time, allow me to be part of your day by reading a short story. But before I start, I will give you first set of questions which will be your hints where the story is all about. Are you ready? Do you like rainbow? Why? What color of rainbow do you like best? And why? What is the significance of cooperation? What does a rainbow represent in your life? Probably, you have now the idea which our story is all about. This is entitled The Parable of the Rainbow Colors by Juan M. Flavier. This story will show you why cooperation, especially in these days, and your role as an individual is important. Let's start! The Parable of the Rainbow Colors by Juan M. Flavier It all started as innocent statements by each of the colors. No attempt was made by anyone to denigrate the others. There was even an element of restraint and humility, but as time went on, the color's decoration became stronger and haughty with an overtone, which tended to put down the other colors. Their claim became very explicit as to who was the best color. It reached the point when the colors were actually quarreling. Said the color red, I am the brightest for red is most striking. Why? Life-sustaining blood is color red. I represent courage and bravery. Even love symbols such as heart and roses are color red. The color yellow retorted. What can be brighter than my yellow exemplified by the sun? I am the color of gaiety and warmth. Without me, only the eye glaring ones remains. What outlandish claims, interposed the color orange. Sunrise is orange, not yellow. I am more important because I represent health and strength. Look at the ripened fruits and vegetables. They are predominantly orange. Well, if you're talking about vegetables and leaves, you are referring to my color, declared the color green. I am the symbol of life. All that thrives in the fields and forests is the greenery I provide. I am the most important color. The color blue could not help it anymore, so it shouted. What can be more expansive than the sky and the seas? Do you forget that the farthest skies and the deepest seas are blue? I represent patriotism. I stand for the depth of feelings and extensive spaces. The color indigo came out with a statement. You talk about wide areas? I hope you realize that the largest area in the world is silence, and I represent that dimension with my color. It means thoughtfulness. It is prayer expressed in the deepest of feelings. Aha! You forget the pump of royalty and power is violet? Shouted the color. 
I am wisdom and authority. What can be more overwhelming? Suddenly, the rain interrupted the contentious exchange of arguments. You are probably all wrong and all right. Yes, you all have your unique features, but all of you have a special role. And more importantly, you need each other to give the mixed colors of beauty. From now on, you will not be seen separately. When it rains, a strip of colors will appear in the sky. You will appear together. You will be called a rainbow. You will then represent cooperation and hope. With that, the rain disappeared. Who can enumerate the different characters in the story? Let me see. All right, we have the colors red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And each one of the colors represent different or symbolizes different roles. And remember, learners, that all of us are also unique individuals. We have our different roles so that you should not compare yourself to others. Whoever you are, whatever you do in life, you can be special. And today, if we're going to show cooperation and unity, we can create a great and better impact. Did you now understand the story? Who can recall the different characters mentioned? Raise your hands. Have you remember what does each color symbolizes? If you do, then you are now ready to answer the questions I have prepared for you. For your answers, I want you to comment below. For our first question, what message can be taken from the parable? For the second question, if you were one of the callers, what would you be and why? Next, what did the rain tell the callers that made them realize their special role? Then, why do you think the rain emphasized the need for cooperation? For the last question, in your own idea, how are you going to show cooperation during the COVID-19? Thank you for watching! Don't forget to wash your hands every time and do the proper hygiene. See you again next time for the next story. Keep safe everyone! That's a really wonderful story. Thank you, Mom Jeshai. I hope you guys learned something today. See you on our next episode. Keep safe. Bye-bye.